or um, you know, maybe swine flu or whatever's going on around the world that there's, there's something you want to look at. And, and the second part of that was felt to me that um, you have to kind of have some rough idea of what you're, going, what you're looking for. I mean, especially with Twitter data, because we're in you know, 500 million tweets every day, I have to have a rough idea when I go in there of what I want to get asked, but I don't know what I'm going to get down with it, but I know what questions I want to ask. And if you don't, you can start from that point of view, just this, this tiny needle in a, in a giant haystack. Um, and a lot of data journalism is incredibly simple. Statisticians would mock the idea that we're, we're dealing with, with hard data. You're dealing with often with percentage changes, or you know, comparing one place to another place. Maybe ratios is the most complicated. Nine times out of ten, that's kind of that's kind of uh, how it works. And then you get this bit, and this bit probably takes about eighty percent of the time, and it's really boring, which is just uh, cleaning up the data and making it tidy enough. I said, you know, PDFs, uh, data coming, uh, even a spreadsheet where you've got kind of different columns in the wrong place or merged cells. Merged cells are the curse of open data. It might make things look easier to read, but they're impossible to to use. And, you know, to demerge everything and Make sure you haven't mucked anything up. And then, and then you get to perform the calculations. And this last bit is kind of a fun bit, really, where um, often, um, I think it's really good for me, certainly, to have a kind of sanity check on the data, because often you would come up with a story. It would look great and brilliant, but it would be wrong, because there's something wrong in the data. And treating the data skeptically as you would any other information feels to be really important. So for instance, I think we had some population data, I think it was from the UN, where um, the UK's figure had a decimal place, decimal point in the wrong place. And what it's meant was the UK came top of every per capita measurement, which I thought, this is a great story, but is it right? And it wasn't. So I think, I think having a vague idea of you know, how many people are in the world, or how many babies are born every year, or whatever, it's just, it's just kind of a good thing to keep in your head. Like, can this, what's wrong about this data that seems so right? I think it's really important. Cool. Mm -hmm. And the end of it is the, the output. And I say output because it's, in a way that sounds a bit programmer-ish, but, but your output as journalists has changed. So it's not just words, it could be a visual, it could be a number of us. Of us.